name's Larry Martin, and I'm going to make a few videos for YouTube on uh, some of the things I know how to do. I'm mainly going to address areas where I feel like there's uh, some uh, inadequacies, I guess you might say, uh, where people have some problems, and I, th I think maybe I can add to alleviating some of those problems. The first video I'm going to do is going to probably be in parts because it'll be too long and uh, it's going to be in high definition, MP4, uh, but it'll be uh, concerning uh, drilling uh, acrylic blanks to avoid blowouts. It's going to concern uh, CA gluing your tubes in there, how to avoid them from not sticking. Uh, and finally, it will be on my method of, of doing final sanding and polishing. So we're going to move on now with my first one on uh, drilling and avoiding blowouts. So we'll see you in a little while. Today I want to talk a little bit about pin turning and primarily three areas that seem to cause problems with people. Uh, one of them, the first one I'm going to talk about is drilling out a blank and having blowout from, from the end. And the second will be the CA gluing and the third will be the sanding. I'm not going to dwell on turning or anything like that because that's, you know, monotonous, number one. And I'm sure you can look at lots of videos to see them turned. All right, let's, let's get my ideas on this. I've, they're, they're the way I do it. It seems to correct my problem. Okay, as I see it, uh, this is a drill bit that is furnished with uh, a pin kit from uh, Penn State. It's a 3 h drill bit. Here's another one. This, this is a uh, Bradford bit. Uh, it's the only one I have. I, I wish I had a 3 h but I'll get one later. But the point I'm trying to make here, I'm going to try to get a little closer if I'm in the screen, is that this drill bit is really very aggressive. It has large flutes and, and of quite a large cutting angle. Okay, so, you know, when you drill, it's really, it's really going to take big bites if you put any pressure on it. Whereas, if you look at the, this drill bit, you notice that the, uh, the angles aren't near as much right here, plus I like the little point, it helps a lot. So it's not near as aggressive. Okay, what I think causes blowouts on the end is, number one, the drill bit, as I talked about. Number two is the aggression you put on your drill press or drill or however you use it. And the third is that a lot of people drill it and at the bottom, the drill bit goes through, it goes out into open air. It doesn't have any support underneath. I think this is very important. Now the way I do it, I do it this way, is I made this little jig here, so I put my uh, blank in and I make sure that it goes ah, if I can get my fumbling hands together I make sure that it goes out the bottom just a little bit right here okay and then I I clamp this one right here make sure it's really clamped good okay then I take a second board and I put it underneath right here. All right. And what I do here is I take a second clamp, bring it over here, and yeah, I'm doing it backwards. I need to do it this way. And I clamp this board to that one. Therefore, when I drill and go through, it's going it's going to hit this other board and and not go into. Uh, open air and cause cause a blowout. So I'm going to go ahead and drill these and then I then I'll be back and then we'll talk about CA gluing. 